Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today I will show you how to access and import global population density data using Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to import a global population density data into Earth Engine, we have to define a variable called dataset equals to double A dot image collection C I E S I N Z P W 411 uh, global population density dot first. So this particular code can use to, uh, can use to import the global population density data into Earth Engine. So let me show you that. So this is a site where uh, we can access our data and access our uh, global population density data and uh, we can import into Earth Engine. So this is a socio-economic data and uh, application center CDAC. So this particular data is being generated by NASA and uh, it is generated and produced by NASA. So you can access data from uh, NASA and CDAC website. So this particular website you can access data. So now to, ex to import this uh, global population density data into Earth Engine, we have to specifically use this code. We have to use this code double dot image collection C E C I E S I N Z P W B 411 GP population density. So using this uh, code, you can able to import our uh, population global population density data into Earth Engine. So dataset provider it is NASA and CDAC at Center for International Earth Science Information Network. So data availability it is from available from 2002 2020. So let me show you in Google Earth Engine how to import this data. So now to import our global population density data into uh, Earth Engine, we have to define a variable called dataset equals to double e dot image collection and uh, CIES, that specific code. So this specific code can be used to import our global population density data into Earth Engine. So we have, uh, we can use this specific code to uh, import our global population density data into Earth Engine. And dot first refers to, uh, we are just loading the first uh, image. So instead of accessing all the image, I try to access the first image. So I've defined a dot first. So next is uh, because there is a multiple data sets being available in our global population density data, I could like to access only specifically the population density data from this image. So for that, I have defined a variable called raster equals to data set dot select. The data set here refers to this image. That is our variable data set referring to our global population density data. So we are selecting specifically our population density data. So next is to set our visualization parameter. So in order to display in our set of required set of colors, we have a set of our uh, set our visualization parameter. So to define a visualization parameter, I referred a variable called raster with refers to the visualization parameter. With the maximum uh, value of 100 and uh, selected the color palettes, that is the palettes, that is uh, selected the uh, six set of color palettes for our uh, population density to show the, from a higher density population to a lower density population. And I set a minimum value of around 200. And uh, we have set our minimum and maximum value. So we have maximum values around 1000 and our minimum values around 200. And our color palettes, we have our six different color palettes to visualize our density population, density of our population density in our earth engine. So next is uh, the map dot center. To center our layer, to center our layer, have defined a map dot center with a latitude and longitude and zoom level of three. And to add our layer into Earth Engine, I have defined a raster. So raster here refers to our population density data. So population density data, it's a variable called raster. And raster visualization, that is our visualization parameter, refers to this one. So set our visualization parameters for our, that is a color sequence for our uh, population density map. And output the layer as population density. Now let me run this code. Go to the option called uh, run script. Click run script. So now we can able to visualize our uh, global population density data. So now we can able to clearly visualize that. 
the brown color indicates the high population density areas and the yellow indicates the low population density areas. So now we can able to visualize that. So here we have a uh, the brown indicates high density uh, high density air population populated areas. So mostly this uh, brownish area will refers to the city locations where the highest population density is being observed. Now let us check out other areas. So now we can able to visualize that this area is called Chennai. So this is a very populated area that is indicated in our indicated in brown color. And it is indicates a high population density. And uh, you can also visualize there is a change in the population density. So it is higher and it is low populated and very low and high and high and moderate. So the color brown indicates a high density uh, populated areas and uh, this particular color refers to a low populated density areas and the yellowish color refers to a moderate density populated areas. Now let me show you other areas. So now you can able to visualize here. So this is a uh, Egypt. You can visualize that there is a very high population population density. And let me show you other areas too. So this is uh, you can able to view that this is our this brown indicates several uh, cities that has been very populated. Let me uh, go to the satellite mode. And now let me turn this off. So this is Chicago. You can view that this is a populated is a populated areas. It is a city. Let me turn this layer on. So you can clearly be able to view that this is a very populated areas. A very population uh, density, uh, high population density areas. Similarly, you can also view here, there are several uh, places where it's very high populated. So similarly, this area is also pretty uh, populated. Let me, uh, this is Rodeo Janeiro. So in this video, I have shown you how to import a population density data into Earth Engine and how to set visualization parameter and how to add this layer into Earth Engine. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.